Hi everyone, my name is Charlie and today I have the mid-year check-in tag. I was tagged by Dane of Dane Reads and this tag was created by Dane and Harriet of Harriet Rosie. The first question is, how many books have you read so far this year? Well, it's nowhere near as many as Dane. It's nowhere near as many as Steve Donoghue. In fact, it's probably nowhere near as many readers out there. But the answer is 80. On the nose. And two, what's your favourite book so far this year? This is our first biggest change from the mid-year freakout tag. Do you want to know why? Because in that video, I said I wouldn't be finding any more favourites in June. Well, <laughs> about 20 minutes ago, I finished reading The Strawberry Thief by Joanne Harris, and it's now my favourite book. Basically read this in one sitting. It's fantastic. I've been completely enthralled by this book, and I'm, I've kind of recorded a video already, so I'll leave a link to that. Three, what's the most disappointing book you've read this year? Same as in the last video, it's still Moriarty. Four, what genre have you read most this year? I counted. I actually physically went and counted the books. I didn't physically count them, I just read them out of a tracker. But the answer is fantasy. It won a crime, it won a poetry, it were fantasy. Five, name a new favourite author that you've discovered this year. And that is going to be Nafisa Thompson Spires because this book is still a favourite of mine. You know, these two are kind of, you know, there as contenders for favourite book of the year currently, as we know. I could go a whole RuPaul's Drag Race All Stars 4 type deal with the winner. Let's just read this. What's the most surprisingly good book you've read so far this year? This one was The Half God of Rainfall by Inwar Alums. I didn't expect this book to affect me as much as it did. Seven. Let's just, let's move this and read it off here again. What are your favourite and most anticipated 2019 releases? So, the three books that I've shown so far in this video would count as three 2019 releases. They're also the only 2019 releases I've believed I've read. I didn't enjoy Bowl Away. Um, we'll talk about Black Leopard, Red Wolf another day. <sighs> but the three that I mentioned in this video, I'd say The Strawberry Thief was probably my most anticipated because it's probably the only one I knew was coming out. Um, but I actually have no idea of books that are coming out at the end of this year. I think Jesse Burton might have a new one. I've seen it mentioned a few times. So if Jesse Burton does have one, if that is all true and it doesn't get pushed back, then the Jesse Burton book, another favourite writer of mine. But otherwise, I don't keep an eye on the book list. So I, unless I see it on YouTube, I don't really know what's coming out. Matthew of... Matthew Sharopa did mention Ocean Vuong's new book on Earth with Briefly Gorgeous or something like that. And Russell with Ink and Paper Blogs mentioned a few things as well. And they keep mentioning books that I want to go out and find. So you never know. There's probably tons that I've told people I'm looking forward to over the last three weeks. I really should start writing them down. That'd be a good thing because I've currently got a plan in my head to go back and re-watch all of these videos. Eight. What's your next book? big priority for your reading. It's actually to finish reading Assassin's Fate by Robin Hobb because then that series will be done and I like having a completed series and that'll mean that I've got an entire shelf of books finished then and I also like having a completed shelf. Um, so yeah, that one. Nine, what's been your bookish highlight of the year so far? Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna say it. It was rereading my own book and finding out that I didn't hate it. 10. Who do you tag? No, this is terrible. This is terrible. I was going to go back through all the people in my comments and use that as a way to tag them in a similar way that Dane does. And I actually just spent about three minutes going through the list before I realised that the people I was tagging for the mid-year check-in tag might also correspond to the people I'm tagging in the mid-year freak-out tag. So basically, all I'm going to do is I'm going to do that giant, humongous, terrible thing that we never like to do. And I'm going to say that if you fancy doing this tag, then you should give it a go. 
And the one person I would tag, who I haven't tagged, but whose answers I'd really like to see, who just came up, who was only one of the people I hadn't mentioned before, is Sophie of Red Head Reading. There you have it. That's that done. I can go and I can have a brew. So yeah. Thank you to Dane for tagging me. Thank you to Dane and Harriet for creating this tag. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you didn't, jog on mate. And until next time, that is all.